first we are going to sign in to AQHA.com. And this will take us into the members area. We will scroll down to showing and we want to go to show results upload. Once here, this will give us a landing page to sign in to the upload area. And you can sign in with any show number and year, this year or last year, um, that you are listed as show management on. That could be show secretary, show manager, ring steward, correspondent, any of those titles. You could, is if you're listed as show management on the show approval, you'll be able to enter the show number and the year, and it will get you into the next landing page, which we'll be able to upload rosters. We can find an exhibitor, find a horse. We can check leveling eligibility. We can do several things here. So once uh, we get to this point, we would, if we're looking at, If we would want to find an exhibitor's name or ID number, we can use this here. If you have an ID number, you can put it in and search. And it will give you the person's name, city, and address, along with their membership type and the expiration of their membership. If you don't know the ID, if, if you don't know the ID number, that's what you're looking for then you can put in names and do a search. And this will come up with uh, many different combinations. So if there's not a, an exact match to what you've searched for, maybe there's one here that, you know, we just spelled incorrectly or was similar. So that could help you find the exhibitor. You can also search in different countries, should you need to. If you were to go to Canada, you can also search by province. And you can narrow down that search um, all the way down to the city if you'd like to. But this can be a helpful tool if you would like to, if you just know part of a name. Just put mine in there real quick and then this will come up hopefully to me, and there I am. We can also do the same lookup for horses. We would return back to the show results landing page and we can click on find a horse. Same thing here, if you know the registration number, you can simply input it to get the correct name. And this is how the correct name will come up here as it is in our database. If you don't know the correct name, you can put in a horse a parcel name. And it, if you didn't know, say you were looking for Big Irons Lola, then that would come up as well. But if you are looking for Big Irons, he's right here. This screen also will tell you the owner's information, the gender of the horse, the foaling year, and there is a column here for performance halter eligible. We have found that this is not truly accurate. So we do have a ticket with our IT department to look at this and be sure we've got this programmed correctly. So it's, it's more that if it's a yes, they're a yes, but sometimes it's a no, but it should be a yes. So if you come across any of those that you question, just jot us an email and we're happy to check it on the internal system and be sure you get the right information. Then we return back to the show results upload page. There's a few more things you can do here as well. You can check leveling eligibility. This will take you to the leveling screen where you can put in a horse or exhibitor and the division.
and it will give you the person's eligibility here. You can also print this should you need to. And then you can return back to IQHA services, which will mess us up. So it looks like when you return to AQHA services, it takes you back out to the main page and we'll have to go back in to show results upload. That was, that is something we need to get fixed. We'll put that on, on the list. So what we want to really talk about today though is rosters and how, how can we get them uh, in, in the cleanest data way possible so that we can work those results quicker for you and and our exhibitors, yours and ours, what we'd like to do is go through Upload Show Roster. And this is the show that I'm working on, the AQHA World Show. I've used a, a dummy um, roster and judge card file, so we'll use that here. And we often refer to the results record as the RJ file. So R for roster, J for judge card. And that's the file that your show system produces to send to us. And that's what we use to import into our 4.0 database and to process the show. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look for my, my RJ file. And I've just saved it on my desktop. So I have it here. It says it's in use, so we will close that. And then we will try again. Then once I've located my file, I'm going to import. And I get an error message. Now this particular error message doesn't tell us a lot other than because we know this message, we know that this means there's something wrong in with the data in the RJ file. So my first thing I'm going to do is to find my RJ file, which is right here. And I'll open that. And a lot of times it's some data has just gotten in there that's not supposed to be there. So one of the first things I'll do is look to be sure we only have one show number in our show number column, one show year in the show year column. In the class code, we just kind of scroll down through here and be sure they look like they are the six digit class codes. There are a few of the new classes now that have the seven digits, so we have to watch out for those. But for the most part, we're gonna look, these all look uniform, so they look pretty good there. Um, we'll look at back numbers usually are not an issue, but what it's telling us is there is maybe a character where there should be a number or a character where there should be a letter. So what I'm looking is just to be sure there's not anything odd in, in the column to be sure that it looks good. Let's look at the registration numbers. Again, I'm just going to scroll down through here. So we can see this one has an extra digit in there, it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unselect all of these. And I want to look at this one. And then I'm going to scroll down some more. See if there's anything else that looks odd. And, and I'm just looking to be sure we have numbers, that there's not a character of some sort, uh, you know, an A or a B or a slash or a dash, something like that that gets in there. Here's another one that looks odd to me, too many digits. And then hmm, this one looks a little short. So I'm going to look at these registration numbers and see what's, what's happening with those. So our first one we're going to look at is he's all bat. And I'm just going to copy this cell. And then I'm going to go back over to our aqha.com where we were uploading the roster. And I'm going to go back to our landing page. And we're not going to be able to upload that because we know something is wrong. So we're going to go back over here and I'm going to find a horse. And I've got his name. So I'm going to insert his name here. 
and then I get his number, 5871409. I'm going to copy that, and then bring it back over to the, to the RJ file, and just paste it. So it looks like there was an extra zero in that number. So then I'm going to copy it and put it again on the next line. And then I'm going to pick up the next horse, Romantic Rendezvous. Go back over to this, our aqha.com screen. Find the right number, copy it. And then I'm going to paste it over here. I'll do the same thing with Space Age Irons. Copy my art from my RJ file over to aqha.com. Search, and I've got the right number here. I'm going to copy that and paste it here. So we were just missing a digit on, well, not even missing a digit. It looks like that was just a totally odd number. So we're going to fix that. So those registration numbers are good now. So then I'll just um, get all the numbers back in. And in case you don't know Excel all that well, the these filters that I've put on here to be able to do these searches is simply going up into data and filter. So right now I've turned them off, but if I turn them back on, I can sort by those columns as well. So in this column, let's just make sure it's all quarter horse. In this column, let's see what's here. These are the horses' names. And so here that should be text, should be letters. Um, we should not have, well, the horses' names could have a number. Oh, but look here. So this one uh, has a slash in the name. So I'm not, it, it may be that whoever was entering this one um, wasn't sure what the name was. Um, couldn't read the name from what they were entering or something like that. So uh, we know this is going to be odd. We, we can't have slashes in the horse's names. So we will look at that one. And then I'll just scroll down and see what else might be here. That's um, not very common that we see that. There's another one. So you may not have that in your system. But what we'll do is, in this case, I'm going to look up the horse's number this time because we have a number on the RJ file. I'm going to copy that. Then we'll go over here to aqha.com and insert our number. And the horse's name comes up to the Dark Knight. So same process. I'm going to copy this and put it over here. Now we've got the Dark Knight on in three different classes. So we need to make that same correction on each line because each line is a different entry for a different class. This time I'm going to copy the next horse's number. Go back to qha.com and see this horse's name is his time to win. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put that in there. And then we're going to make that for all of his lines. Okay, so we have those names fixed now. The other thing that might cause us, um, will cause us, could cause us an error, is exhibitor ID numbers. So we know we've got some zeros. Let's look at those. And then that one looks like an older number. That could be still right. But we could fix these. We would catch these on the next step as well. So you don't have to do this part here, but since we're here, we might as well just look at them and get in the habit. We'll check those, but I, I don't see any that are too long at least. So on these, uh, let's see, the exhibitors with zeros. And this is a good time just to make a reminder that when you're entering or taking entries, my, my apologies, when you're taking entries, just be sure you are looking at the exhibitor's identification card, their membership card. 
because it will tell you their exact name, how it's listed in the database, and it will give you the exhibitor ID number. And that exhibitor ID number is, is really needed. So in this case, we're looking for Alex Sefuentes. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy that. And the same is with the horses. We're going to go back over to aqha.com. We're going to go back to our main page here because now we're looking for exhibitors. So we'll go back to exhibitor. We don't know his ID number because that's what we're looking for. And we'll just put this in here. Um, you can all, you'll have to separate them out or type them in separately. But now we have Alex in here. And on the RJ file, let's see, was there any kind of, there is an address. So we're looking for Alex that might live in Lamont, Illinois. I'm just going to do a general search. And there is one in Illinois. Um, it's not Lamont, but let's assume that this is the right one for now. And we could have also gone in here. Well, it's United States, so that's how we should have done it. Then we're going to copy his ID number, go back to our RJ file, and put that in for Alex. Then we have James Dean. Copy that, go back to our aqha.com. Now, James Dean is a common name, and in Mesquite, Texas. James Dean in Texas, that's, that's got to be common, right? <laughs> Let's see what we get. So, there are a lot of James Deans. There's not any in Mesquite, Texas. And with that common name, I, I would be hesitant to pick one of these. So what I might do is contact him directly and see if he does have an AQHA ID number. Um, if you know him personally, you know, just give him a call and, and just ask what that situation is. Our next one is Loretta Bowser. We'll put Loretta in here. And you can, again, just type those names in there, copy and paste, however you'd like to do that. Now this one um, comes up with nothing on this. So another way we can look up exhibitors is really going by their horse as well. So we'll go back to the upload landing page. We'll find a horse this time. And from our RJ file, we can see that Loretta is showing She's been frosted. So I'm going to take that registration number and find she's been frosted. And see, does Loretta own this horse? And the owner we have is Magnuson Farms. So, hmm, okay. Let's try um, James. He is showing RL zip code Cody. And this one's owned by eQuest. So in these two cases, um, we're not able to really find these ID numbers to know what is correct. When that happens, we do need to contact the exhibitor and get their exact information. In this case, uh, I do have access to the internal uh, database. And what I did, I looked up for Loretta. I looked up, she's been frosted. And I do show that Loretta had exhibited this horse in the past, but her name is spelled wrong. And so it's a Loretta and there's no middle initial. So now if we search for her, I know you won't have that ability. Um, so we would have to contact the person and see, see what their information is.
Now if we look for Loretta. We have her here, Minnesota. Let me go back to our RJ file. She is in Minnesota. And so we've got her ID number here. We're going to put that down for her. So the only one we would we haven't been able to really look at is James. Then we would continue on just to be sure there is, you know, just nothing funky else in in our data. And we might try try that much. We will save save our RJ file once more, and then we'll go back to aqha.com, go back to our upload. We want to try to upload our roster again. So now that I've made those few changes, I feel like it was the horses' names that had the slashes that caused that error. So let's let's just see if that have if that works. So now we're going to we saved made the corrections to the RJ file. We saved it again, and now I'm re-importing it onto the aqha.com site. And it worked this time, so that must have been our problem. So this is going to be the error and warning report that we received back. Um, and this is what we would like your help with. These errors that come up on this is what takes, takes us so long to get through with so many shows that we're doing. So we are wondering if you could look through these and see if there's anything that you could could help us with to fix before it's being submitted to AQHA. So what, one thing we can do is export this in just into an Excel spreadsheet. Then we'll open it. Uh oh. I think I have it open twice. There we go. Okay. What I like to do is just to make it easy to read. I'll put the row height at 15 and then put the filters on. So I'll be able to change filters or sort in any way we really need to. One of the things I like to do is just to sort this A to Z so that all the like messages are together. So the first one is customer ID is required. So we knew James Dean. We knew he didn't have an ID number. So if you can find that, that is um, a plus. The next one, exhibitor customer ID is not valid. So this maybe looks like a horse's number, doesn't it? Um, we're going to look for Anthony Grevengoad. We're going to copy him from this report. And then again, we're going to have to fix our RJ file. So we're just going to go back, um, leave this screen, go back to our upload, find an exhibitor, and let's look for Anthony. Anthony that I find is in Sterling, Illinois. Um, this is our error report, so it's not going to give us um, the addresses. But uh, if you go back to your original RJ file and we look up Anthony, let's look at his first name. And he is in Sterling, Illinois. So we have the right one here. We're going to copy his ID number and we're going to we're going to put that onto the your original RJ file that we're still trying to we're still cleaning up. See and that just happened to be the horse's number. So the owner's ID number is in there incorrectly as well. But that's okay. We don't have to check those. The exhibitor ID number had just been entered as the registration number. So we've got that fixed on our RJ file. 
we'll go back to our error report. And what I like to do is just delete these. So we, we know James Dean is a problem right now, but we do have Anthony fixed. So I'm just going to delete those rows and go to my next one. Exhibitor customer ID is not valid. Another one of those, and this is for Michael Sheedy. Um, let's pull his name over to the four dot, um, I'm sorry, aqha.com and check his ID number. Michael Sheedy, 2523. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. If we look at Michael, we have, we have lots of Michael. So Michael Sheedy, and there's no address here, but there is only one Michael Sheedy. Oops, let's look here. And he is Michael D. Sheedy, and this is in Michigan, um, where it, the other thing you would want to look at is where's the location of your show? Um, and since I'm using a dummy roster into the Oklahoma City show, <laughs> that's not going to work. But um, look at the city of the show and the location of your exhibitor. And if, if that's close, then that, you know, common sense, just use a little bit of um, deduction that this probably is the right guy. And his name is Michael D. Sheedy. So while we're here, we're going to look up the RJ file back for Michael Sheedy. And we've got his ID number, and we know he's Michael D. So we're going to go ahead and put in Michael D. Because these names have to match exactly what is in the database in order to get rid of all of um, some errors. We'll see more of those. So we are going to delete that one because we fixed it. Now, these error messages say the horse on the roster does not match AQHA database. So what I would do on these is, whoops, passed it. Go back to the horse. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the horse's number and go back to the database. I'm sorry, AQHA.com and find a horse. Put in the number. Search. This is GP sitting fancy free. So here we can see fancy free is two words, but on the roster RJ file, it is it is spelled as one word. So we're gonna get all of our get all of our people back on here. We're going to look for the register, we're going to look for the same registration number that we did before which I lost. So I'm going to go back over here and find it. Here's my registration number. I'll copy that. And then I'm back on my RJ file, the one that I am trying to clean up so that I can upload it. And I'll get that. Now looking at the name on aqha.com, GP sitting fancy free. Fancy free is two words. I'm going to copy that and then just paste it over here so then it matches exactly. Then I'm going to go back to the error report and I'm going to delete that line because it's fixed. And I'm going to go on to the next one. And you can see there are numerous ones that the horse doesn't match. So that is what I'm going to do on each one of these to get to the right spelling or the right spacing of the horse's number. We'll go through just another one just to show you. We'll copy that. Go back to aqha.com, put in our horse number. This horse is Bugs Easy Queen, three words. On our RJ file, it says the horse is just the right stride. So those are to two totally different horses. So in this case, I feel like the number is probably wrong because I feel like we're going to, well, we're going to go by the horse's name, right? Because the words usually make the right sense. The words are going to be right. So we're going to copy just the right stride, go back over to our horse lookup and find just the right stride. Well, his number is 5743909. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. 
and it's just a little bit different. It's 5743 and we have 5713 on our RJ file. So we've got to go back to our RJ file, find our horse, Find the right column. Okay. So we know we are looking for just the right stride. So let's go back to the RJ file and find just, just the right stride. There he is. And so the registration number that we found on aqha.com is 5743909. And we have 5713909 instead of 5743, the one should be a four. So we're going to change those. Okay, and this is our RJ file. I'm going to save it just every little bit because I don't want to lose the work we've already done. We'll go back to the error report. And you can also sort these by just one warning at a time. And then do the horse name because we have several just the right stride. Well, we fixed all of them on the RJ file. So we are going to delete these from our error report. Now if we go to the next one, we should be looking for cruel girl code. Let's try this number first on aqha.com. Does that come up too? No, it comes up to don't skip a chance. So I'm going to search for cool girl code. And here's her number, 59866627. So then if we go to the RJ file, we want to look up cool girl code. We'll find her. Here's that number. The number we found was 5986627, which is, they had 628 on here. So now we've got her fixed. Then we'll go to the error report, delete that out, and then just keep going down in that manner to find the right horse registration number that we should be having on the RJ file. Now on this one, when I looked up extremely salty, it looks to be the same name on our RJ file, right? This is our RJ file. But in reality, there's there's two spaces here. So it's really not, it's not gonna match the database. So it is that particular. Um, it's gotta match exactly what's in the database. So in this case, it's just there was an extra space in the name of Extremely Salty on the RJ file. So I fixed that one. And we'll take Extremely Salty off of this one. Shiner Surprise. Looks like we have another number here. Shiner Surprise 5425. Four, five, six. Well, hmm, Shiner Surprise. Okay, so I'm not seeing what's different from our error report. We'll go over to our actual RJ file and look for Shiner Surprise. Shiner Surprise. So the what we found was. Shiner Surprise, S-H-I-N-E-R-S-S-U-R-P-R-I-S-E, -S -S -E. looks to be the same. And the numbers, 5425, 456, 5425, 456. I'm not, I'm not seeing what's causing this one. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm not seeing what is different. On our RJ file, the registration number seemed to be right and the name seemed to be right. I did go ahead and just copy the name from aqha.com. I just copied this and put it in there. So we'll see 
if that helps us anywhere. And we'll go back to our error report and we'll take that off. We'll go to the next one. Okay, so I just went ahead and looked up those numbers and got those correct. So we've deleted all, we've looked at all the horse names. Now our next error message says horse numbers not found. So there's just something wrong with that number. So again, we'll copy that. Go over to aqha.com. We've got a registration number 5355325. And they had number 6355 instead of 5355. So this is our error report. We'll pull up our RJ file. Find the horse, the hot intern. And we copied the number, so we've got the right number on the hot intern now. Back to our error report. That's We can delete those because we have fixed the hot intern's number. Invalid class offering. That tells us that the class code that is on the RJ file is not entered in on the show approval side. Um, which in this case, there's going to be a whole lot of those because I used the world show. So that's not um, accurate in this case. Now, if you had this for real, um, it would it would mean that the class code is not an approved class and we need to get it entered into the show approval. Now, it could be that there just could be a wrong class code number listed or it could be that you offered the junior senior class codes, but when at the show, the class was combined. So now you have the all age class code in your RJ file, but we still have the junior senior class codes in the show approval. So that's fine. Just let us know that we need to change the class codes on the approval. And if we can do that, that's not a problem at all. Or it happens a lot with amateur and select as well, or when you're um, combining the youth classes. So this is where we find a lot, a lot of our time is spent right here is the exhibitor names do not match the database. So this is the same situation where we looked at horses previously. This is the exhibitors now. So this is just telling us that these exhibitors do not match what is in the database. First off, we, we know um, we don't use punctuation. So the MJ Fowler, I would venture to say, doesn't have a period at the end of the J. So we would do this the same way. We would look up the ID number from our error report, go to aqha.com. We're going to go back to the results menu because now we're back to exhibitors. So I'm going to put in the ID number, see who this goes to, and it's MJ Fowler. So there's no punctuation. So that tells me I'm going to go to the RJ file that I'm trying to get clean. I'm going to get all my horses back on here, and then I'm going to look at the exhibitors. Scroll over here to the exhibitor, and it's MJ Fowler. M, M period, J period is what they've got there. So here he is. And we're just going to change that to MJ. Now what you would want to do is what you're actually going to be doing on the corrections that you find, you won't, I'm sorry, you won't be making those onto your RJ file. What we would like you to do is change them in your database. So say you're using Funware or ShowPro, whatever database you're using for your show, you would go back into that database, into that show program, and make the corrections for these exhibitor names and horse names. That way it is, it is in your database so that the next time you upload um, the RJ file, then you're not going to have these same errors.
So I've been showing you how what we do in the office, because this is how we have to do it to get it imported into the database. But what you'll do is change it on your show database and then um, recreate another file. So that's what I'm going to do with all of these. I'm going to look at the ID number, see what it should be. George M. Pacello, MD. So on the RJ file, it's George M. Pacello. So we don't have his MD. It was George M. Pacello. George M. Pacello, MD. So we've got him right. So when I'm changing it on the RJ file, you would be changing it in your show database. We'll go on down to Chad Mills. And it's Chad D. Mills. So I'm going to go to my RJ file. And we've got a couple of Chads. And we said it was Chad D. Mills. So we're going to put D on all of his. I'm going to go back to my error report and delete those since I know he's been fixed. Or I might actually delete them. And then we go to Christine Metcap. Christine is Christine M. Cap hyphen Kelly. Christina. So Let's find her on our RJ file. So we know she is Christina. Christina. So we're going to change that to Christina. Christina M. And then her last name is Cap hyphen Kelly. EY. Okay. Again, I'm changing this on my RJ file, but you will be changing it on your show database. I'm going to delete her from the error report. And then I'm going to do that for all of these, all of these IDs. Make sure they all match. So I won't bore you with that while I'll do that, and I'll be right back with you. So once you've made it through the last of all of the errors, I've corrected those now. So I'm going to go back over here to our errors. We have no more errors. So we have our RJ file that we have cleaned up. We have looked at horses names. We've looked at exhibitor names, compared them from the RJ file to aqha.com to be sure those main names matches on the exhibitors. Nine times out of 10, it's going to be in a, a middle initial, like Michael E. Hoyt, but the original was entered as Michael Hoyt. Um, so just be sure when you're looking at your membership cards to enter that into your show database exactly as it is on that membership card. So I think I've got this cleaned up. Um, we're going to, I have saved it. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to go back here to my AQHA.com and I'm going to try to upload this again. I'm going to browse and with you, you're going to be fixing this in your show database. You will produce the associations file for AQHA and you will save that and then you will import it again. This time we do still have a hmm, few more. Oh, this is the invalid records. So that's not um, it's that's not applicable in this case. So that is fine. Normally you would come here and there would be no errors at all because you've cleaned them all up. In this case, I'm just not using the correct roster to the correct um, show approval. So all of our classes are different. So it's going to say invalid class offering.
But in this case, there are no other exhibitor ID numbers that are mismatched or horse ID numbers that are mismatched. So at that point, you would be clear to go ahead and um, upload your file. I mean, you would be clear to go ahead and upload your judges cards. So then you would switch over to judges cards and import. It's telling us to save first, so we'll go down here and save. Mm. Okay, so I fixed the classes so that this would match so we can actually see what happens here. And then we're going to upload the roster again after we close it. So I've cleaned up the RJ file, I think. And we still have James Dean, which we know we didn't find an ID number for him. So we're going to leave that the way it is and move forward. The next step you would do is to select validate rules. Now this is going to run another set of validations regarding different things uh, regarding the memberships. Memberships, not current or that's what is mainly going to be memberships, yes. The same thing with this grid, you can export it by clicking the, the Excel icon here. It will give you another file. Okay. And I'm going to put the filters on so we can filter down by ID number. I'm sorry, by error description. These first ones read, exhibitor does not have youth membership. So those are the ones you'd want to go and check. Be sure, do they have a membership? Do they not? And if they don't, then they do, you do need to collect a membership from them. These do not have an amateur membership. So they may have a, a regular membership, but they need an amateur status upgrade. So again, check those memberships and see that they do have the right type of membership. Exhibitor needs current membership means they don't have any type of membership. So these people, we would need to check on them, be sure they do have a membership, and if they don't, be sure to collect a membership from them. So you can keep that, work those with, with your entries when they, when they enter, when they come in to check out at the show office, be sure we get their current membership information. And if not, then we must sell them a membership and get them a, to be a current member. Otherwise, they will be disqualified from the classes. And it's really unfair for a new member, perhaps, to to come across that and it's just disheartening that they've gone and shown and now they're going to be disqualified because of their membership. And yes, the exhibitor does have responsibility to be sure that that is up to date. But if we can give them a little extra care and help them out, then they will be return visitors, return exhibitors. So that's going to tell you who needs membership. So be sure to keep that and work that report. Once we have validated that rules, then we can save. And then we can also, that's the main thing we would really like your help with, is to get that data cleaned up. Then to move forward, you can as well do your judges cards. You can import judges cards. And it will find mismatches from your judges card to the roster. In this case, I haven't placed anyone in this, so that's going to tell us we all need we need placings. Um, we have to have judge judges entered on your show. If there's not a judge, got to have a judge entered, the correct judge. Mm -hmm. 
invalid class offering, we would want to look at that to see what's happened there. Um, probably we've got an entry on the judge card sheet that is not entered on the roster sheet. So you want to check that. So I cleaned up the roster to be sure the judge card, the judge's ID number was entered on the judge card and put placings in so we can see this for real. And so now I am going to um, browse and find my file again. And you can re-import this as many times as you like. And you will get this message that says it's previously been imported. You'll get this for the roster and the judge card. Do you want to overwrite? and you just click ignore all warnings and import and it will take it again and it will overwrite everything that was there previously with the new file. So now there are no warnings, errors or warnings. On this we will validate, I'm sorry, on the judges card we just have to file, we just have to save. And so that has been saved. Now from here, um, we would like you to do this, if you could, before your show and during your show so that this part is, it's all kept up to date. Your ID numbers and exhibitor names are, are all accurate throughout your show. Your horse numbers and horse names are all accurate throughout the show because that is reflected on your results and statements that you give to your to your exhibitors. So if we could, we'd just like to have them as clean as possible and correct as possible, then that would help us help you, help our exhibitor, and then we can process the results quick, quickly, um, quicker than we have been able to because we are having to make these clean up, clean up our RJ files before we can process them. So any help you can get is greatly, greatly appreciated.